Hi guys, welcome back to Siano. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, if it's your first time to come across Siano, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching my videos, forever you may be. It's a good morning to you all, uh, wherever you may be watching and what time you may be watching these videos. And today's video, we are going to look at the latest information that was uh, uh, the latest travel and the latest travel information in Qatar. Remember, we are talking about uh, FIFA World Cup, we are talking about the mask mandates, then we also need to talk about what we call the travel uh, restriction or the travel uh, return and policies, then we also need to talk about what we call the COVID-19 in one way or the other. Remember, recently the minister, the, um, the MOFA, uh, Minister of Public Health, released a, a, a new travel guidelines whereby all the travel, uh, travel policy remote what you call the compulsory hotel quarantine for people coming to Qatar. For example, all visitors, all residents, all citizens coming to Qatar, they know there's no longer what you call a hotel uh, quarantine for all. That is the new latest updates or the travel updates. Remember, the travelers, all travelers arriving in Qatar from abroad no longer required to take what you call, to undergo what you call the hotel quarantine. That is according to the Ministry of Public Health. However, something still the Ministry of Public Health stresses that you need to know. However, if you come into the country and you test what you call COVID positive, then probably you have to go what you call home quarantine as the procedure go. You definitely have to go. Uh, home quarantine and you have to follow the procedure as per the guidelines in the country that is according to the latest updates however still something number two you need to know that this regulation of the new travel policy where you do not need home quarantine or do not need hotel quarantine as you come into the country is coming into effect on 4th of september starting 4th of september at 6 p.m local time then it will be open that whatever people, anyone that will be coming into the country at that time will not need to quarantine himself or he will only need to come in what we call the country with what we call a negative PCR test. A negative PCR test, when we talk about a negative PCR test according to the latest travel, that negative PCR test, if you are coming into the country, it should have been taken in the last 40 eight hours and if you are going to take what you call the antigen test which is called the rat the antigen test is should be taken within what you call the 12 hours that is the difference pcr test certificate pcr test should be 48 hours antigen test it should be 12 hours that is the latest update however according still as according to the Minister of public health this mandate or this new travel policy does not does not look at your vaccination status. If you are vaccinated or not vaccinated, you have two vaccines or you have vaccine, all people have to come in and they will no longer need what we call home quarantine. Remember, we are talking about the FIFA World Cup and its benefit. You no longer need what you call the FIFA. You no longer need what you call the uh, home quarantine so long as you possess what we call a negative PCR test, which must be taken into 48, uh, the last 48 hours and uh, an antigen test that must be have taken within what you call the last 12 hours. That is what we call the test measures that they are required for anyone that is coming to Qatar. Then still something and. Uh, Another update still that has been given up is what you call the last update whereby uh, this categorization of where we have the red list, the green list uh, countries have been removed and now that there is no more red list and green list countries, all that you need to come is that you need to come when, with a negative PCR test that has been taken in over 48 hours and you must come in. And still the government or still means of public health stresses that whoever will come into the Qatar in the country will have to test within the last 40, 40 or 12 hours, you will have to test and test and if you prove, then definitely, uh, you definitely 
have your way to move in one way or the other. So it means that even the visas that will be coming to, to the country, they will need to have what you call negative PCR test that must have been taken it within the 48 hours and uh, the uh, urgent test that must also be taken within the 12 hours in one way or the other. So these last updates, you remember these are uh, updates that have been brought in into the country that you do not need uh, the, uh, what you call, they are facilitating the process of what you call the travel and the return policy and the strategy by the Minister of Public Health to achieve what we call the COVID-19 vaccination target or COVID uh, zero COVID-19 uh, uh, strategy that will be achieved that every community will be safe in one way or the other. So I hope I've tried to share uh, uh, for you, uh, all people now coming to Qatar, you do not need to take home quarantine and there is no longer uh, what you call the green and the red list. Remember, before we had the, the red list countries uh, coming from Nepal, India, Philippines, uh, Pakistan, there is no longer that one. All you need, you need to come into the country, but you need to have what you call negative t uh, PCR test. Uh, that must have been taken 48 hours, or you need to have what and gen test that must be taken 12 hours. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's Max from the next question. See you again in the next video.